What's up guys, Jordan's still here. Now as promised, we doing this guy. Oh Yeah. Okay. We are gonna be playing as Igneous. Let me just see what's in here. Are, are you kidding me? Oh my oh, and I wanna do this. Uh, you can scroll. Yeah, okay. Looking for friendship book. So that we can get those orbitals. I think these need to be resprited. We need a... Stats tracker as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stack up on familiars. Or orbitals at least. Then we're going to hope we find something. Yeah, it only lets you have five at a time for some reason. So, Igneous, hopefully you know the deal. But this time, we have orbitals. Oh, there's actually a secret room right there. And the reason we have these... Is so that we can do, um... Damage. Without being tied to this... Freaking item. Oh... Shoot, um, okay. Kill, kill, quickly, kill. <laughs> are we doing more damage? Yes, we are. So, what I just got is called Adrenaline. You do more damage the more enemies you kill. <laughs> this again. My dad just sneezed. Um, <laughs> so let's see we, we, what we can do. This. Now you'd think that damage for every enemy you kill isn't too substantial. First of all, you're absolutely wrong. Even if we weren't playing this game. <laughs> um... Okay, same you look. Alright. Oh. Maybe this is interesting. Yes, it is. <laughs> look at that. So, what we just got was Immortality Device. Which, uh, stops you from dying for the next five seconds. Now, the thing is... Have you guys heard of... Sacrificial Stump? The team that is in the Binding of Isaac. It's basically every room you're invincible and you have an orbital that deals contact damage. So it's like that. The only reason that I dropped it is because we can't break pots with it. But it's really cool because like you gotta... Nice. You have uh, items that charge. Uh, like igneous charges items, you know how it is. Now what we're looking for here, let's not take that actually. See if we can find a heart shop, not a heart shop, but a regular shop first of all. Because we have all this money.
So we're looking for alpha. So that we can loop can loop the uh, first floor. Yeah, I'll take this. Why not? Okay. If we don't find ooh, that's gonna help. If we don't find alpha then this run is kinda pointless. Cause that's how we continue to loot for the Master Mimic. Hopefully the orbitals will help though. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of jump was that? All across the entire thing. Oh boy. So it's really just this again, huh? I guess all we need is XP bombs. Should've taken the health there. Champions do not appear- actually, no. No, I- You kinda need the drops from champions. No champions would be great in Isaac, but actually, no it wouldn't. Cause you get drops from that too. Really can't get this. Well. I guess it's free then, if we... And what I wanted to happen, happened. We got some extra consumables. This is quite a rare slime to see. Ooh, we got pierce. That is good, because now our fires go through an enemy. Just makes them better. Now we're going to go down here to this red portal room and restart this floor. We're going to we're going to be hoping for a lot of those. Oh yeah, big bad bombs do extra damage. They don't uh They don't make the bombs explosion bigger. Ooh, so many drops. So many shops. The reason I can keep going on um, like through the bombs and through everything is because the wicks last an incredibly long time. A bit too long actually. Like, it's almost not worth it to skip rooms. Because you'd probably clear the rooms by the time the wit goes off. Oh, okay. There's a shop. Okay, then uh, I guess this game just doesn't want to be fun. We'll take this, yeah, just for a bit. Rockets and pots, drunken fury. We can keep using this. Oh. Um, that's that's kinda that's kinda good. I did not know you could do that. Health. Why is it so glitchy in this game? <laughs> we'll keep doing full clears. So that's pretty interesting. As long as your spacebar item isn't uh isn't replaced, you can keep using that. That's hmm. So if you get really lucky. Which you won't, like, 
you can get a crap ton of items. That is ridiculous. Thought there might have been a secret room there. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of damage from that. Can this loop forever? It can. Wow. Now that's a reaction. What will this do? Hmm. That actually seems interesting, but we kind of already have the same effect. Hmm. I'll try it on I'll try it on an enemy. Ice skates, uh, okay then. Oh my god. How did that kill us? We were at like Oh uh... Okay, so yeah, the reason that killed us was because we didn't have any red hearts. All it does is, like when you have an extra life, it just refills your red hearts, but we didn't have any. So that's kind of too bad. At least we can get this again. I forgot we didn't have plate. Okay, maybe the orbitals are kind of good, but only on their first floor. Let's not even bother with this guy. There's a gap there, though. Hmm. Not gonna take those chests because I could lose my item. And I don't want that. So I guess Igneous is hard to complete, huh? Let's go down. Oh, wow. I really thought I could outrun that. being extremely aggressive. I don't think there's anything else I want here. You know, this is basically a champion version of uh, Big Snake. This is called Eater Snake, right? Can you damage it? Yeah. You have to be basically touching it. But, uh, hey, pretty good. Oh. Those aren't worth going in unless you got 10 cents. Hey, look, now we have 10 cents. Wacky. Panic button. Eh, it could help. 
two coins in eight directions. Man, this is why we have to rebalance the shop. Like, what are you going to do with that? That's an item with almost no value. Because no matter what you do, you're always losing coins. Don't forget, we're still hoping for a uh, an alpha, the alpha item. And if we don't get it, that'll be too bad. We could also look for the Skeleton King. If we do any of those in this one thing, then it'll be time well spent. Except for that first, uh, that first time. Because yikes. See if you can fix those borders too. How did that hit me? We'll get a heart. Oh, didn't even see that one. More damage. Okay then. You know, these are just accidental hits. They're really bad, but still. What if we were trying to, like... How are we gonna do Skeleton King with this? I could have gotten laser, but... I mean, like, I, I could have gotten laser. I could have gotten laser. Wow. Some walls hide secrets, guys. We don't have uh, cluster bombs. We don't have anything for bombs. That sucks. The orbitals are good though. Oh my. Don't tell me it's gonna be one room away. Literally the only way we could have gotten. Not mad, I'm just disappointed. Oh, hello. Can this drop alpha? Nah. I don't know how those work. It. All I know is that it gives you an item from your last run. What item it is, I'm not sure. I haven't figured out if it's the last item you got or like the first item. It's not the first item. Hmm. Maybe I should figure out how they work. What's really gonna hurt is we don't have piercing. So our damage output is drastically reduced.
don't let our uh, quick room killing clear you. That's just because we have orbitals. And wow, you have to get close in order to use them. Did that actually hit us? Oh, okay, this could be good. Oh, there's a Master Mimic. We don't have a dummy. Now we have an item called Repost. It lets you shoot bullets when you, um... That's actually kind of interesting. Wait, what exactly does it do with this guy? Because what it does is when you take damage, you shoot bullets. But... This guy can't shoot bullets on its own, even if you drop his active item. So is it using... Is it using the active item twice? What's going on here? What if I drop... What if I drop the active item? If that's how it is, then, uh... I don't know what's gonna happen. So it uses your active item twice. Well, okay, now I should explain that. Um, what it does is... Use the active item... Once. It only happened twice because we have a... Repost. Repost, or uh, not repost, um, you can, what's it called, uh, panic button, yeah. Don't stand in the middle, because then you won't get the item. Oh! There's one thing. Now, 32 damage. Kind of good. We will try it. But I have to realize that, uh... There's quite a lot at stake. I'm going to get rid of remote control. Thanks. What that was doing was like controlling the fires depending on how we move. Okay. That that was fair. That right there? Yeah, fair. Oh. We probably wouldn't have gotten away with that if we still had the remote control bullets. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I'll, s I'll skip that room. <laughs> if only that worked. Glad it doesn't, cause like it makes the unlock for one of the hardest characters a bit too easy. Nay, even a secret character. Mm. We're just looking to beat the boss. Oh, okay, what? What is this monster for room? Okay. Uh, hardly anywhere to walk. I'm frozen. 
I was unfrozen just in time. I'm gonna take damage. Respawning enemies. Yeah, not, not a good room. Not a good room. Um, found the boss. Very thankful for that. wish I could try my luck in that, but we have a lot of health, and I don't want to ruin it. I'm gonna need everything that I can get if we want to take on the Skeleton King. It'll be a... Like, if we do it, it'll be an actual test of skill. Almost done. Some more range. That's pretty good. Now I think our fires go across the whole room. Let's test it out. Not quite the whole room, but pretty good distance. I've already been to the item room. Let's see if we can get a level up though, because one this th that just sucks. Like now, do I want more damage? I didn't. Oh, it only did four more damage. The extra health would have been so much better. Dude, really wish we had adrenaline right now, but you can't get what you want sometimes. Now, as a last resort, I'm going to buy a few items from here. Toxic bullets, okay, that could be good. Fire staff. That seems to have a lot faster reload than this. Yeah, you know what? Now enemies can't charge us. I think that's really, really good. So let's try it. <laughs> okay then. Oh boy. Oh my. Okay, just gotta find the right times to use this. The green isn't them healing, by the way, it's them taking damage from the toxic. Well, I think we're actually not even over- I didn't even see that guy. I think we're actually not overpowered, so I can actually try to explain what's going on. That's really good. Oh, you know, that's good too. We're rocking red hearts right now. Four sacrifices from that, and you gain a heart container. I think we'll keep playing it. But only when we have the equivalent of two hearts on the ground at every time. Because if you don't, then uh, you're kind of wasting hearts. Luckily, we have Mob Doctor, which gives enemies a higher chance to drop health. Alright. So, let's see how much of the enemies we can explain. First of all, Fire Staff it spawns. Is it eight? Wait, let me see. One, two, three. Looks like eight. Okay, it varies. But it spawns a very good amount, very sizable amount of. Uh, did I just take two hearts of damage? I better not have. 
a good amount of fires. And they're really close to you, so that's, uh, very good. Are there any more hearts down here? It's one. Kill this guy, because you have to kill everyone. The Great Papaza. He's, he's gone. And, uh, I got Toxic Bullets, which is like, it's like Mysterious Liquid, but maybe even better, because it has a lot bigger radius. Well, it's, it's a bigger radius, but, uh, the drawback, how did that explode? Really? The only drawback is it doesn't do much damage, like it doesn't scale with your damage. I think if it did, like if it did, uh, I don't know, half your damage, because you'll be spawning a lot of them. I think that would be awesome. We should do that. We, we, we can make that happen. This is the most resourceful I've ever been in this area. I'll explain the enemies when I actually find some. Kind of don't want to find some though. Because that'll mean I'll have to find enemies and fight them. What are we looking for right now? I think we're kind of good for damage. There's a sword here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Oh! 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 Mimic. <sighs> funny game, that's real funny. What, what do you think this is? Oh yeah, we already got the thing. And what was it? This fire item. Cast fire while being hit. Maybe that's why we're spawning so many. Because there's two fire items. One where you like spawn a trail when you hit, and one where you just spawn Lots of fires. Yeah. So let's see if we can explain some of these enemies right here. These floating skulls that have the particles around them. They suck you in. Yes. So, yeah, they have a gravitational pull. You have to kill them before you get sucked into them. It also just causes a lot of displacement for your character in general. So you don't want that. But I didn't need to explain that to you guys. For more witty outbursts, uh, subscribe. Like, like, You're doing 40 damage, by the way. Should be pretty good. We will uh, use this again. Stacking up on health, you gotta take every opportunity you can. Especially since you can't buy soul hearts of any type from the shop. By that I meant to, I meant to say shield hearts. Because they ain't soul hearts. Okay. Looking good. Uh nice tame room to explain things. Dude, do those do those explode or something? What? Nothing really to explain. Uh, okay, those those slime jockeys. They're actually pretty non-threatening, except for the fact that they jump a lot.
dude, dude, this, don't question, don't question it, don't question it. If you don't say anything, I don't say anything, it didn't happen. What happened? Nothing. Good. Interesting. There's Dummy, by the way. Um, did we find the... Yes, we did find the item. What this is, is... It should refill chests in the room. So hopefully it works with this. Oh, it does. <sighs> every... Every chance you can get. Find a way to make the game easier on yourself. What we're doing right here is we technically have infinite items. It just takes a while. It's because Igneous charges these. It charges this active item. Oh, you know what? I think we're done here. Because <laughs> it doesn't re-roll items. Yikes. Okay. Never mind. Well, we got some extra items. Making a beeline to the shop. If there is a way to, um, go out of the boss room right now, totally would do it. Because Dummy's right there. But it doesn't really matter because you, uh, you don't get a wardrobe on this floor. That's, that's too bad. Yeah, we should make that scale with your damage. Half of your damage. I think that would be good. Not too overpowered, but at the same time, like... Mm. Base damage, too, because what's happening is... We're not actually doing 20 damage. Fires have a multiplier of, like, one point. No, it's like 2.3, I think. So we're actually doing about. Uh... You know what? Let me let me just make sure. I might be thinking of I don't know fire. Four point five, about four point five. Yeah, that's what I had put in the wiki. So I'm glad that uh, we can actually use the wiki to find information about a game. I'm glad that uh, I did a lot of the work for it. We have a lot of hearts here. This ghost heart is not going to do much for us. So let's cap out on red hearts and fight this boss. Luckily, this still counts for the sacrifices. So we'll take. We'll do two hearts. We'll do, you know what? We'll see. We'll see if we can cap out. Last one. Okay. Don't forget, we can still buy hearts from the shop. And there's this heart. The <laughs> Pop bombs. on the trek, looking for more hearts. I think this guy should be immune to fire. Like he should start with fire tunic or something. It would make sense. 
but at the same time... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, I mean, like... It's not like... Hmm. I should stop thinking about it. Let's just buy some hearts and uh, fight the boss, I guess. Too bad we can't get out of here. Alright, this is gonna be something. Make sure all the recordings are on right now. I'm sure that's fine. Fire Staff is so good with this guy, but uh, can't help our dodging. That's why we have all this health. So without further ado guys, let's fight this guy. So nervous. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. This good old uh, 40 damage is the best we have. And this may seem easy, but this is only the first phase, don't forget. This guy has two phases. It's gonna get a lot harder. These uh, toxic bullets are really helping out a lot. It does a lot of damage. Okay. Might as well listen to the rest of this. Okay. Hey, got a heart. Ooh! Now we're taking damage, okay. I don't really know what to do. Just keep hitting it with this, I guess? Circle around him? Because he spawns spike trails wherever you go, like... You just gotta hope that he walks into the... Fires. I think we got this. Oh! Then again, this is uh, a roguelite, so don't speak too soon! Maybe there's attacks I haven't even seen from this guy before. Oh. Oh, look at all this damage we're taking! He's dead. We got him. We did it, guys. We, we beat... We beat him with Ignis. I don't care if I die. Like... Honestly, I think Ignea sucks. <laughs> He's good only if you have the opportunity to break the game. Other than that, like, he's kind of a weak character. Like, not being able to shoot actually hurts a lot more than you would think. Being tied down to an active item. Oh, Cthulhu's tail. Well. Uh, what that does is, when enemies die, they have a chance to spawn a Cthulhu eye. And that can really snowball. Just picked up rocky ammo. Which deals a lot of knockback to enemies, and apparently even can push them into the wall. The Cthulhu's do not stick around. Well, I'm glad we used the orbitals. We have no money to donate. This rocky ammo is actually pretty good. 
sell random items. It's gonna sell the fire staff. Well, if you, this is a weird win. It's a really good win. I can't really say if we clutched it out or if we like just if we like carried or we barely skate through. Strange. Okay. Yeah, I don't really I don't really care. <laughs> Let's just get this run over with. So I can edit the first one because I'm I'm recording this right after and I haven't even edited yet. Oh my Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. I don't think the game will crash. Yeah. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I'm Jordan Steel. Subscribe to keep it real. We finally got an igneous check mark. We'll do this later. But we'll see what we do next time. In the meantime, See ya.